What up, Boxing World? JF Sports. This is going to be my review of the uh, Cotto vs. Canelo's promotional tour in New York City. It was held in hotel, and like I said yesterday in my review of the Mexico City promotional tour, New York is going to be pro Cotto. And indeed, it was. Um, some people were booing Canelo, and yes, the crowd was was explosive. Um, I didn't think it was as explosive as it was in Mexico City, and uh, it it was somewhat similar to the um, Los Angeles. But yes, indeed, Cotto's fans in New York were loud. <laughs> You know, they were yelling, like I said, some of them were booing Canelo, but that's normal, you know, everybody got a dog in a fight. But, um, interesting though, uh, Bernard Hopkins said his piece, uh, motivational speak speaker, as always, so to speak, and Oscar De La Hoya said his piece, as always, you know, being the promoter of this fight. Um, enticing obviously the people to watch the fight and follow him all the way to Vegas but um, one of the things that I noticed when um, Oscar De La Hoya was asked and was interviewed somehow he said something like over 2 million people mo probably lost appetite or no longer a boxing fan because of the Mayweather versus Pacquiao fight what he's saying is because people got disappointed. But yes, a lot of people were disappointed about the Mayweather Pacquiao. And in just my own opinion, I don't think that's a general, you know, boxing fan population. Because if he's saying that there's over 2 million people that were unsatisfied or disappointed, then that could only be Manny Pacquiao's fans, right? I mean... I'm guessing, I don't know what you guys think of it, but I'm, I'm just guessing because if you were a Mayweather fan during that fight or always been a May Mayweather fan, then you should not be disappointed, right? Because Mayweather won. So I guess Oscar De La Hoya is speaking for the, you know, uh, casual fans that probably wanted to see more action on the May Pack and obviously the Manny Pacquiao fans that was disappointed because... Uh, Pacquiao didn't come out with a with a win, but anyhow, the press conference it's starting to get intense. That's what I noticed. You know, Miguel Cotto and Canelo Alvarez when they did the face off, you know, they're starting to get serious. I don't know if they're tired. I don't know if it's because you know it causes fatigue when when going all these promotions. And I can only imagine. You know, what I'm saying three days already. They've been to L.A. They've been to Mexico City. And now they're in New York. I'm sure they're probably getting, you know, four or six hours of sleep. You know what I mean? If not, they're just getting all the, all the sleep that they can on the plane. But yet, but the, the face-off and their stare-down, it's starting to get serious, you know? I was comparing it from the Los Angeles promotional tour to the Mexico City one yesterday. And today, they, like I said, I don't know if they were tired or whatever or they're just exhausted already from answering questions you know press conference interviews all of that but I saw some changes I saw some differences from the LA and Mexico City today they got more serious they got one more tour tomorrow they go to Puerto Rico I'm imagining that while I'm making this video they're probably on the plane right now so but anyway it, it was okay you know what I'm saying it, it was a good uh, press conference it was definitely definitely pro Miguel Cotto crowd as people already expected that but um, yes you know fans are, are definitely following Cotto versus Canelo all the way through um, the last stop that they're gonna have is tomorrow Puerto Rico and yes definitely that's gonna be another Miguel Cotto pro fans you know and um, you know Canelo was humble humble you know what I'm saying it's, he didn't make any aggressive move or aggressive speech so to speak uh, basically thank everybody and so did Koto um, you know not, no fighting words there no insulting you know like the other press conferences that we've seen in some fights but um, it's pretty 
I wouldn't say mellow, but uh, okay. It's an okay press conference, you know what I'm saying? It's all about the fans. And like I said, I think people listen more to <laughs> the Oscar de la Hoya and Bernard Hopkins because of their speech, you know, of their powerful uh, words of speech. So, you know, it is what it is. Um, Miguel Cotto, as usual, doesn't say much. And Canelo, as usual, he, his speeches are basically a lot of thanking people, which is good. You know, but as far as like, you know, trash talking to one another or bashing one another, that's not their MO. That's not Miguel Coro nor Saul Canelo Alvarez's MO. That's just not their style. And uh, and yeah, you guys can see on this pictures on this slideshow, um, you can kind of grasp and get an idea of how the press conference went. If you guys didn't see the press conference yet. Uh, there are some um, websites out there that you can see it uh, and um, some clips of it and the speeches and stuff like that. And It was okay. You know what I mean? It was cool. It was cool. I thought it was cool. But, um, yep, there you go, guys. That's my little review, you know, short uh, review. Nothing really much to say other than things that you guys already know and already seen before in their press conferences. Um, yep, let me know what you guys think. Uh, comment down below. Thanks for watching. JF Sports.